Hey guys, this is Jill and I'm here with our wonderful hostess, Kristen. Kristen currently does speech therapy with preschool age kids, but did school age therapy for many years. Many years, too many. <laughs> and today she is going to share with us what she has in her therapy bag and how she uses it. So take it away, Kristen. Um, you'll also see videos of me using some of these books in therapy, um, but they might be a little raggedy because they're in raggedy daycares. Anyway, um, this book is really good. It's sensory. They can touch. They feel like it keeps them entertained. Um, it's got good descriptive words for them to learn. They can touch something on every page. This is the That's Not My series. This just happens to be That's Not My Elephant because I love elephants. It can make a really good elephant noise. Yes. Tell me about that. All uh, right. Hang on real quick. On all of our That's Not My books, there's this little mouse yes. on every single page. So that's a fun thing for the kids to try to find the mouse. And they do like that. Um, the reason we're showing you these books is because a lot of us use Fundex and we have to take in 20 Fundex for each kid we're working on. Mm -hmm. um, so I like that I can just use a book in target five or six objectives in one session with this book. This is my first word book. I also have my first word book about me. Um, and I think there's a few more my first yes. word books in the series, which I have on my wish list. So I'm going to be getting them at this party. Um, so I wanted to just show you, I'm going to start with the my first word book. It's really good. I can target um, identifying pictures, naming pictures, which for you pre-K therapists, that's a lot of it. I know in kindergarten you can do that too, but school age therapists, y'all have to link to Common Core or whatever it is at this moment. I've been out for four years, praise the Lord. So I don't know about Common Core right now, but there are tons of books for you that Jill will feature later. Um, but I just wanted to, sh you know, show you how I'm using this book in therapy every day. And my kids love this. I have a three-year-old girl that I roll my card in and she can't get this book out fast enough. She loves it. So um, I like that it's broken down. It's very easy. It's very simple. So I can do identify pictures. And if two pages is too much, then I'll put my goal sheet here and cover up and just identify pictures on one page. Um, I can do just point to a picture and have them name it. Tell me what this is. I can do descriptive concepts. Tell me the one with a long tail. Show me the one with the long tail. Show me one that flies. Um, I can also target WH questions. I can do what questions. What does a bird build? You know, if we do those fun decks enough, you know, what does a bird build is in there? Um, what does a spider build? I can also do where questions. Where does a fish live? Where does a fish swim? Um, I can talk about the features. I can talk about one that hops versus one that flies, different things like that. And even break the categories down into hopping animals, flying animals. So um, I love this book. So it's got animals. Um, it's got family and friends, um, food and drink. So I like that I can do big categories like animals, things we eat. And then over here is clothes. So I can do those things. And even if you are working on another category, sometimes you work, we work on um, things that go. So I can break my categories down and work on them in here. Even let me show you on the things that go page. Even on this one, you can say point to something yellow point to a red vehicle, point to something that flies in the air. So even on a page like this, you can still meet those other goals. Right. Um, and then also, let's see what I miss. Um, the things at home, just good for household items. A lot of them need this vocabulary built up so they can communicate at home and ask for what they need. Um, then their body parts. That's a big preschool thing that they have to be able to do in the, in the classroom as well. Um, summertime. I don't really use summertime that much, but I could maybe when it gets closer. Right now it's winter. Um, here are actions. And I know a lot of us have to work on actions with ING and then we eventually get to what did they do and we get the past tense. So you can begin to teach actions with this. Um, farm animals. Again, you can do what does a cow give us? That's on the W8. That's on the what fun deck. What does a chicken give us? But I don't see the chicken he's somewhere here's the hen there what does a chicken give us um who lives in the farm um where do a cow pig and chicken live again those are quoting the fun decks that i've used for years but it's just hard to always pull the fun decks out it's easier just to use one book um again there's the things that go page the bedtime page and i do use this page with a child that i'm targeting um by labials and so we do bed moon pillow and then one-to-one -one correspondence. So that's what's in my therapy bag. I love these books. I hope you'll buy some.